Hey guys, when working through mathematics, it's very important to learn how to convert units. Today, we're going to show you how to convert units of length, millimeters to centimeters, centimeters to meters, meters to kilometers, and going back as well. First, let's understand the process. Looking at this diagram, converting units of length, we're looking how to go from millimeters to centimeters, then from centimeters to meters, then from meters to kilometers and back as well. We notice it's a special process. If we understand it and we memorize it, no matter what a question and what, what problem we have, we'll always be able to solve it. If we are going from millimeters to centimeters, we divide by 10. And when we go from centimeters to meters, we divide by 100. And when we go from meters to kilometers, we divide by a thousand. Going back, it's the opposite. The opposite of divide is times. So going from kilometers to meters is times a thousand. Going from meters to centimeters times by a hundred. And going from centimeters to millimeters times by ten. Now you may ask, why is it ten hundred or thousand? Because there are ten millimeters in a centimeter. There are a hundred centimeters in a meter. And there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. Now that we've understood the process, let's do some practical examples and we'll understand it even better. Here we are asked to convert from a larger unit to a smaller one. In this case here we're asked to go from 12 centimeters to millimeters. We look at our diagram from centimeters to millimeters we times by 10. So 12 times 10 I always like to show the working out on top, 12 times 10, 120. Critical that you show the working out, I always tell my students, do it the way I do it, you won't go wrong and you won't make a mistake. And later on, when you want to come back to check your work, maybe weeks or months later to see how do I convert, you can always see and check your working out and you'll know the answer and how you got it. Another example, we're going from meters to centimeters. We look at our diagram, from meters to centimeters, we times by a hundred. Five times a hundred, five hundred, so five hundred centimeters in five meters. So five meters is exactly the same as five hundred centimeters. Here we have 7.3 centimeters equals how many millimeters? We know we're going from centimeters all the way to millimeters centimeters to millimeters we times by 10. Now of course you can use your calculator however this is something simple we know in decimals when we have 7.3 times 10 we move the decimal to the right once because there is one zero so it becomes 73 millimeters 7.3 7 centimeters is 73 millimeters we're going now from kilometers to meters. 8.45 kilometers to meters. It's always important to see which, which unit am I going from. I'm going from kilometers all the way to meters. So kilometers to meters, we know we've got to multiply by a thousand. 8.45 times a thousand. A thousand has three zeros which means we're going to move to the right because we're multiplying. Multiplying means going to the right three times. One, two, three. So eight, four, five, eight, four, five, and then over nothing, meaning we put a zero and we can put our point just to show that 8,450 meters is exactly the same as 8.45 kilometers. So we've converted kilometers to meters. Then we have 25 meters. We want to convert it to millimeters. Mm. We're going from meters all the way to millimeters. Let's see what we're going to do. From meters all the way to millimeters, we have to go through centimeters. So meters to centimeters is times 100. And then from centimeters to millimeters times by 10. It's a two process, why? because we're going from millimeters to centimeters, then centimeters to millimeters. We follow the process, 
we go through from meters to centimeters and then centimeters all the way to millimeters. So we're doing it twice because we're moving two units across. 25 times 100 is 2500 times 10, 25,000. You can go 25 times 100 times 10, you can put in your calculator, or you can just go 25 times 1,000. Why? Because there are three zeros, one, two, three, three zeros, you can hit it in your calculator, 25 times 1,000, 25,000 millimeters in 25 meters. Now this is different to them. Why? Because we're going through two units. We're going from meters all the way to millimeters. Here, we have 4.123 kilometers. We want to go all the way to millimeters. From kilometers all the way to millimeters. So we have to go from one end all the way to the end. From kilometers all the way to millimeters. Let's get started. From kilometers, we want to go through meters and then centimeters and then all the way to millimeters. Kilometers, two meters times by a thousand. Then from meters to centimeters times by a hundred. And then from centimeters to millimeters times by ten. 4.123 times a thousand times a hundred times ten. Put it in your calculator. And I'll do it here manually to show you even manually how it's done. Times a thousand, so we jump three times to the right. One, two, three. Times a hundred, jump another two. Times ten, jump another one. So the decimal point's moving once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. So here we're going to insert zero, zero, and zero. So our number will be four, one, two, three, and three zeros. So we have a large number, 4,123,000 millimeters there are in 4.123 kilometers. Large number, however, we follow the process, we can't go wrong. We follow the process from kilometers to meters times a thousand, then from meters to centimeters times a hundred, and then times by 10 to go from centimeters to millimeters. And this is our answer, our working out, and you can easily put in your calculator and you'll get your answer straight away. See how we've converted from big units to small units. Let's see how to convert the other way around, from small units to larger units. Okay, now we're going to learn how to convert from small units of length to large units of length. So we're going from millimeters to centimeters, or centimeters all the way to kilometers, or from meters to kilometers. So we're going from small units to larger units. We notice we have to divide either by 10, 100, or 1000, or even sometimes by 10, then by 100, then by 1000. It depends on where we're going. Let's see how we're going to do it. 250 centimeters. We're going all the way to meters. So from centimeters, to meters, the process says we got to divide by a hundred. So 250 divided by a hundred. 250 divided by a hundred. In your calculator you can do it or you can do it the manual way. There's a point right at the end. Go backwards twice because you divide you go to the left two times because you're dividing by 100, 100 has two zeros, so you go back twice, 2.5 meters. So 250 centimeters is exactly the same as 2.5 meters. From centimeters to meters again, same process, we're dividing by 100. 72 divided by 100, you should be getting 0 0.72. Grab your calculator and try it. 72 divided by 100, 0 0.72 meters. 20, 21,000 meters, we're going to go to kilometers. So we watch the diagram and we notice from meters to kilometers, we divide by 1,000. 21,000 divided by 1,000 is 21 kilometers. 
21,000 divided by 1,000, 21 kilometers, which means 21,000 meters is exactly the same as 21 kilometers. The next example, 71 millimeters, we're going to convert it to meters. So now we're going from millimeters all the way to meters. We have to go past centimeters. So 71 millimeters, we're going to go to centimeters, which means divide by 10 and then divide by 100 from centimeters to meters. So 71 divided by 10, then divide by 100, 0 0.071. I urge you to try and do it in your calculator as I'm doing it. You'll notice it's a very easy process. 22,000 centimeters. How many kilometers? So we're going from centimeters to meters and then to kilometers. So 22,000 centimeters, we want to go to meters, we divide by 100. And then from meters to kilometers, we follow the process, we're dividing by 1,000. So 22,000 divided by 100, divide by 1,000. So we're going back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0 0.22 kilometers. Our point is right at the end. It's normally here because it's a whole number, 22,000. Point. We'll bring the point left five times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0 0.22 kilometers. So 22,000 centimeters is equal to 0 0.22 kilometers. Now we're going from millimeters to meters. So we're dividing by 10 because we're going from millimeters to centimeters first and then from centimeters to meters we divide by 100 so 42,000 is a whole number the point is right at the end we go back one two three times one two three which means 42 meters 42,000 millimeters is equal to 42 meters as you can see, the process is easy. As long as we follow our diagram, we need to understand it. We don't always need to memorize it. In mathematics, if we understand something, it means we've actually memorized it. Understand the diagram, always have it there in your head, and you'll notice it is a simple process. We're going to use this a lot when we're working with uh, measurements. If we're working at area, if we're working at perimeter, it's important that you know how to convert units of length.